Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter, that's me. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, review stuff. And I am back for a Starbucks review and I am so excited. I haven't done a Starbucks review in a while, so I'm very, very excited about this one. I will tell you, my day is not exactly going as planned. I've already gone to Starbucks once today. Look at my beautiful gold cup that I am using. And when I went through, um, I asked to make sure that they have all the ingredients for the drink that I'm gonna review today. But my plan had been to go to the pool. I have my pool bag right here and I have my towel right here, and I'm currently sitting on my uh, Turkish quick dry, dry towel that I got on Amazon. <laughs> I love those quick dry, dry towels. Anyway, um, this has happened the last two days that I have planned my day to get to the pool, and I'll like go outside and I'm like, oh, it's so sunny, it's gonna be such a nice pool day, and then as soon as I get to the pool, it gets cloudy. Yesterday I got to the pool and thunder and stuff, I was so over it. So anyway, I was like, when in doubt, drive around and listen to an audiobook. So that's what I've been doing right now. I've been driving around listening to my audiobook because I'm listening to the fourth book in the Maureen Johnson Truly Devious series and it's called uh, The Box in the Woods and it's really, really good. It's like a, a 70s like uh, slasher or horror movie. It's so good, oh my God, I love it. But anyway, so I was like, okay, let's do this review video and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna film some other videos because it's basically gonna rain at this point. Like over there, if the pool was over there, it's pretty. But over here, it's not. It's cloudy. So anyway, all right. Here it is from Holly over at TotallyTheBomb.com. You can get a witch's cauldron tea from Starbucks to brew up some energy. Okay, because of course, it's not fall yet, but we better get ready for Halloween in August, I guess. I was watching, though, last night, I was watching Jaws. Do y'all have that, uh, what's it called, that streaming? I feel like all I have now is just streaming apps. I have streaming apps for everything. Um... My friend told me that the best documentary series, true crime that she has ever seen, Missing Persons, is called Relentless on Discovery Plus. But then I found out that I have to download Discovery Plus to watch this show. So I was watching Tubi. <laughs> Tubi! Uh, T-U-B-I is a streaming service and they have tons of like free movies and stuff like that. I love it. But anyway, here we go. With Halloween right around the corner. No, I don't. I love Halloween. Hall Halloween. I love Halloween, but don't say it's Halloween yet. It's not. It's still summer. With Halloween right around the corner, we get to get all sorts of spooky with our Starbucks secret menu. And she put this little picture, and it said coffee with a ghosty in it. I do love some ghosty stuff. So. We've already started. I always call Boo Radley Mr. Ghosty because he's like, you know. Well, I don't always, but that's one of my nicknames for him. Um... I always sing Boo Radley. When he stands up like and goes like this, my dog Boo Radley, it looks like he has on like tight little jeans and like boots. And I always sing to him that country song. Why'd you come in here looking like that with your high heel boots and your painted on jeans? He loves it so much. Okay. We've already started cranking out some of our spooky drinks such as Frankenberry Frappuccino and our Fear Street Frappuccino. But I love the way that this new one looks. Now let's look at it because I can tell you mine's probably not going to look this way. But I hope it does it's so pretty isn't it it's green on top and purple on the bottom okay uh the witch's cauldron tea is the perfect drink to get you in the mood for the halloween season i think she outdid herself on this one so pretty okay but make sure to grab our recipe below because this can't be found on the normal starbucks menu this is my personal creation so you'll need to order using our recipe card below and there you go okay how to order the witch's cauldron tea. Start by ordering a venti iced passion tea with no water. I asked, and they have passion tea. Okay, here's another picture of it. Uh, ask for it to be made with half soy milk. I ask if they have soy milk, and they do. <laughs> and here's another picture, okay? Followed by another picture. Uh, but in between it says, then ask for three pumps of pineapple syrup. I ask them, <laughs> they have pineapple syrup. Okay. And finally, ask for cold foam made with coconut milk and one scoop of matcha powder. And there you go. That's all you need to get this drink through in and in your hands quickly. And then it says, uh, be sure to be kind to your baristas too. But we already know that. You should always be kind to your baristas. Oh, my good Judy Melissa. Hold on a second. My good Judy Melissa and I, we are starting a horror movie podcast. Oh, my God. 
gonna be so scary. So we've been talking about it all day on the phone. So she, uh, okay, so she had to get off because uh, her parents stopped by, but now they're gone. So she was texting me and telling me that she can talk on the phone now. Anyway. All right, let's go over to Starbucks. Now, I don't need my coffee because I already got my coffee for the day. And I don't think I need any more coffee, do you? I don't think I do. Anyway, all right. They don't have the pumpkins out yet, but I will tell you what they have at the Walmart uh, Center right here is it looks like these are mums. Are they mums? Oh, my God, they have their mums out. All they're not. They don't look very good, though. Look at these mums. Do you see them? I mean, they're okay. They got purple and brown ones, but, and then they got all the, the rest of the plants that nobody wanted. <laughs> those Gerber daisies, I can't, those Gerber daisies don't want to do anything this summer, my Lord. All right. Are y'all ready for Halloween? <laughs> Halloween. My friend back in the day, he sent me this card, and I always think of this card on Halloween. And I always say it to him still on Halloween. Anyway, the front of it was, um, you know, one of those, a dachshund, but we call them wiener dogs here in the Midwest. I don't know what you call them where you're at. But you know those dachshunds? And then it, the dachshund had on a witch's hat, and when you opened the card, it said, Happy Halloween, Happy Halloweener. <laughs> oh my God, I love that so much. I still think it's so funny to this day. It doesn't take much to get me laughing, I tell you. It just doesn't, okay. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Could you help me make a drink, please? Yes, Peter. What do you need? Oh, awesome. Okay. I already, when I came through here earlier, asked if they had these ingredients, so it should be okay. Okay. Okay, I need to start by ordering a venti iced passion tea with no water. Iced passion tea, no water. And I need for it to be made with half soy milk. Okay. Three pumps of pineapple syrup. And then I need a cold foam made with coconut milk and one scoop of matcha powder. Correct. It says that's all you need to get this drink brewing. Be kind. Uh, be sure to be kind to your baristas too. Perfect. All right. We'll see you. Okay. Thank you. Was it yesterday that I came through here? And uh, maybe it was the day before. And Josh was sitting next door at um, a Qdoba and he was eating lunch. I was like, look at him over there eating lunch at Qdoba. I finally added some money to my card because I didn't have any money on my card. Ooh, Veronica got her hair colored. It looks so good. It's like this mermaid blue. Look at your hair, Veronica, it looks so good. Did you get it colored again? No. Oh, it looks good. Everybody's getting their hair colored here. really nice. Jacob's getting his hair colored, and you're getting your hair colored. I've had this one for about a month. Yeah, I saw it before. Yeah, it's like every time I wash it, it just gets brighter. Oh, there's a new joke. Okay, how do astronomers organize a party? Astronomers organize a party. Something, I don't know what. That is so cute. They plan it. <laughs> I had a really good guess earlier. This lady said they invite all the stars. Oh, that's good. Right? And then she said uh, another guest was uh, they make space. They make space for it. And I was like, that's kind of cute. That's cute. She should make jokes. She should write jokes. Well, her husband was like, she's a school teacher, so obviously like she's got these little witty reports. I guess. So I was like, Adorable. Really so to make a good teacher, you have to have witty retorts, not be able to teach a student. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, according to my experience, yes. <laughs> How is your day going? Pretty good. Pretty good. We've got dinosaurs over here, and we've got stones. Here, I'm going to show you guys. We've got these dinosaurs over here. Have you named the dinosaurs? I have not. Okay. You might want to ask Jacob Josh. I think they might have named them. Did they name them? Okay. Did you name the dinosaurs, Jake? Well, we need to. Sheila and Darlene. Oh my God, it looks perfect. Oh, this is the Witch's Brew Tea. Witch's Brew? Yes. You did a great job. Thank you. Your hair's like growing out quick. I know, I already rebleached it. It looks good though. Okay. Keep going soon, you'll see me with a full head of pink hair. 
that what you're doing next? Fun, fun. I saw uh, your fiance eating at Qdoba yesterday. Yeah, he does that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bye. All right, let's go right over here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This drink looks so good. Okay, are you ready? Well, we gotta have the thumbnail first, you know. Okay, oh, it's mixing up! But it still looks pretty good, okay. That's really pretty good. I have to tell you, I kind of like when the teas are made with like half soy milk or half coconut milk or whatever. That's good. I'm trying to tell you what it kind of tastes like. It tastes like, it tastes kind of like, well, I mean, this is what it is, but it tastes like a fruity iced tea with like heavy cream in it. Or coconut milk and soy milk. I wonder why she didn't use the soy milk or the coconut milk for both. Why she did soy milk in one and coconut milk for the other, you know what I mean? I don't know if I would get it again because there are so many other drinks that I like, but I do think it looks very like witch's brew tea. I mean, I would give this, I'd give it a 4.5 out of five. It's good, it's really good. And I do like matcha. The matcha is not strong in this at all, I'll tell you that. If you don't like matcha, it won't bother you. I have to tell you, by the way, I love when I get tweets from people or comments on videos when they're like, oh my God, I'm going to try this drink right now. And then you guys try it and give me your comment about it. I love that. It means so much to me. So anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And um, we're getting ready for Halloween. Get ready because I was just thinking about this today. We are going to Las Vegas for our anniversary. This is our 10 years married and 10 year wedding anniversary and 13 years having been together this upcoming in like two weeks. So, um, but I'm gonna be in Las Vegas when all of the new like pumpkin spice drinks come out and all that kind of stuff, I think. So I'm not gonna be able to review those till I get back. Maybe I'll do one there. Maybe I'll do a Starbucks review in Las Vegas. Oh my Lord, oh my God. Anyway, let me know what you think about this drink if you've tried it. Um, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.